Good morning, today's lesson is 3.4. Today we're gonna to multiply using partial products. Our essential question, how can you use place value in partial products to multiply two digit numbers? Let's unlock the problem. You know how to break apart a model and find the partial products, but how can you use what you know to find out and record a product? So if I'm gonna multiply 34 times 57, just like yesterday, I'm gonna break up the 34. So there's my 30 and my four. I'm going to break up the 57, so there's my 50 and my 7, because it's easier to break it up by 10s and then do your 1s. So in this first one, I'm going, to, I'm going to multiply the 50 times the 30. So 50 times 30. Well, 3 times 5 is 15. I remember this is 50 times 30, so I've got 1, 0, 2, zeros. So this is going to be 1,500. And then in my next one now, so this is 1,500. I've already got that one. And the next one, I'm going to do the seven ones times the three tens. So 30 times seven, well, seven times three is 21. And then I have my one zero because it's tens that we're multiplying by. So it's 210. So step three, now I'm gonna multiply my five tens and my four ones. So my four ones and my five tens. So five times four is 20, but it's by my tens, so it's gonna be 200, because I got my one zero there. So now I've got the 1500, plus the 210, which is right there, plus the 200. Finally, in step four, we've already done 1500, we've done our 200, we've done our 210. Now we're gonna do our, um, oops, now we're gonna do our four ones and our seven ones. Four times seven is 28. So now I just have to add those all together. For me, it's easier if I kind of add like these two together first. So I get zero, zero, seven, one. And then over here, I get eight, three, and two. And I'm gonna take both of these numbers together and I get 1700 plus 238. So eight and zero is eight, three and zero is three, seven, eight, nine. So the answer is 1,938. All right, next example. The apples from each tree in an orchard can fill 23 bushed baskets, bushel baskets. If one roll of the orchard has 48 trees, how many baskets of apples can be filled? All right, step one says to multiply the tens by the tens. So I've got two tens and four tens. So I've got two tens times the four tens, right? is 80 tens, because four times two is eight with my zero. So I've got 80 tens, which is 800. And then now I'm going to step two, I'm gonna multiply the ones by the tens. So I've got my four tens and my one one. So I've got 40 times the three ones, well four times three is 12, and my zero. So I have 120 ones, okay? Step three is to multiply the tens by the ones. So now I'm multiplying my two tens times my eight ones. So eight tens, or eight times uh, two tens. Eight times two is 16. But remember, these are tens, so it's gonna be 160 of them, right? So it's 16 tens, which essentially is 160 ones. Uh, step four is multiply the ones by the ones. So I have eight times three, which is 24. So I have eight ones times three ones, which is 24 ones. And now I'm gonna add them together. So four plus zero plus zero plus zero is four. Six plus two is eight, plus another two is 10. I'm gonna regroup my ones. Eight, nine, 10, 11. So I have 1,104 baskets can be filled. So I want you to pick the easiest way for you. I know a lot of you, the area model seems really more comfortable so if I did the aerial model on this, I've got 12 times 12. So I'm going to break my 10 and 2, 10 and 2, because I'm making 12. So in this one, I have 10 times 10, which is 100. And then I have 10 times 2, which is 20. 10 times 2, which is 20. 2 times 2, which is 4. On this side, if I add the 100 and the 20, I get 120. Over here, I add the 20 and the 4, and I get 24. And now when I add the 120 plus 24... I get four, 144. So the answer is 144. I'm gonna go ahead and just kind of keep breaking these up because I know 
um, yesterday when we were working on this, this seemed to be a little easier for people to understand. So I'm going to break up the 30 and the 1. So 30, 1. I'm going to break up the 24, 20, and 4. So 3 times 2 is 6, but remember I have two zeros, so this is going to be 600. Two time, or 20 times 1 is 20. Then I have 30 times 4. Well, 3 times 4 is 12. Remember, it's by the tens, so I'm going to add my zero. And then I have 4 times 1, which is 4. So now when I add it up, I get 620 on this side, and I get 124 on this side. Put these two numbers together, and I get 447. So the answer is 744. I'm going to do the same thing over here. Break my numbers up. So I've got 25, so 20 and 5. And over here, I've got 40 and 3. So 20 times 40, well, 2 times 4 is 8. And I have my two zeros, so it's going to be 800. Then I have 40 times 5. 4 times 5 is 20, but it's by tens. So it's gonna, I'm going to add my one zero there. And now I have my 3 times 20. 3 times 2 is 6, but remember, we've got our... Um, we're multiplying it by tens and not actually by the ones, so I'm going to add my one zero there. Three times five is fifteen, and now I'm going to add them up. Eight hundred plus two hundred is a thousand. Uh, Sixty plus fifteen is seventy-five, and then when I add seventy-five and one hundred, I get one seventy-five. All right, I'm going to do one more with you. I'm actually going to erase this one a little bit so it gets easier to see. Okay, so again, I'm going to break up the 37, so 30 and 7, and then break up the 26, 20 and 6. So now I have 30 times 20, but if I just did the 3 tens and the 2 tens, I would get 6 tens, and then remember, since it's tens, I've got to add my two zeros because there's one here and one there. Uh, 20 times 7, well, 2 times 7 is 14, and I have my 1 zero right there, so it's really 140. And then I have 6 times 3, which is 18, but it's really times 30, so I'm going to multiply that times my 10, get my zero there. And now I have 6 times 7, which is 42. So now when I add those up, I get my 600 plus my 140, I get 0, 4, and 7. And then over on this side, I have... 2 and I have 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Carry my 1 or um, regroup my 1 and then I have 2. So now I have 740 plus 222 and I get 269. So the answer to this one is 962. Okay, today I'm going to have you do 6, 7, 8, and 9 on your own or with a partner. Or if you need help, I can see you on the carpet. And then I want you to do the Think Central. I believe I posted nine problems today. All right, good luck.